Okay, we're going to check in with our primetime team, and Ezra Levan is going to start us off with a preview of The Source. You know, normally I don't talk about things on other channels, but last night Justin Trudeau gave an interview with Peter Mansford at the CBC that was amazing. He was asked about terrorist attacks. Okay, you know, it's a tough question, but we've had 12 years to think about it since 9-11. And he said that the first thing we have to do is look into the root causes of terrorism, and if we have done something to marginalize the terrorists and make them sad, well, that's not exactly what he said, but that's the gist of it, and I'll show you his clips and why he's dead wrong. It's not on the source. I will certainly watch it. Thanks Appreciate Karen. it. Okay, thanks, Ezra. Okay, we'll check in with Charles Adler next in Winnipeg. Thanks, Karen. On tonight's show, I lived in Boston for quite some time. Know how tough and rugged the city is and how rugged the people are. They will recover from Monday, but they'll need to be vigilant, and I know they will be. Although a certain young man by the name of Justin thinks exclusion led to the attack. Someone felt excluded and, and marginalized. We'll analyze this tripe with Sun News Atlantic Bureau Chief Chris Sims. Later on, Manitoba's NDP presents a whopper of a budget, increasing the PST from 7 to 8 percent, and they'll have to pass a sales tax referendum law in order to do this. There was a referendum law, which meant you had to consult with the people. They'll be trashing that and trashing the promise they made in the 2011 campaign. All this and much more tonight, right here. Charles, thank you. Brian Lilly up next. Find out what he's working on for Byline. And of course, we will have the latest on the bombing in Boston and talk of an arrest. What are the details on that? We'll also talk about the reaction of Canadian politicians and specifically Justin Trudeau saying this is obviously an act of exclusion. If the facts don't back that up. We'll look at why Trudeau's comments matter and how they could hurt him politically. All that and more tonight on Byline. Okay, Brian, thank you. Brian's in Ottawa, staying in Ottawa. David Aiken up next. Going to be a busy battleground tonight. Well, thanks very much. Day two of Battleground BC and still looking at the fallout from that Kelowna area NDP candidate who denounced the use of French and said that First Nations were getting too much money. Of course, she's an ex-candidate now. We'll look at the fallout from that. From the federal level, MPs in Ottawa are reacting to that. We'll also chat with Norm Letnick. He is a uh, Liberal Cabinet Minister from the Kelowna area. We'll see how the campaign's going and we'll have reports from all the campaign trails. That and much more tonight on Battleground. All right, don't go away. We've got plenty more coming right up on right now.